Welcome to Ace My Exams Learning. Let us get started with today's learning. Various options are given as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer. Question. Revenue includes A. Consumer tariffs B. Goodwill C. Consumer rights D. Shareholders' equity The correct answer is A. Consumer tariffs Revenue consists of the funds collected by the government through various sources to finance public expenditures and services. Consumer tariffs, such as taxes or fees imposed on goods and services, are significant to government revenue. Therefore, option A, consumer tariffs, is the correct answer. Question. Money charged for using certain products or services is referred to as A, surcharges. B, user charges. C, bank charges. D, interest charges. The correct answer is B, user charges. Money charged for using certain products or services is commonly referred to as user charges. This term describes fees or charges imposed on individuals or entities for utilizing specific goods or services. Question. Duty is tax charged on legal documents for the transfer of property. A. Import. B. Export. C. Stamp. D. Excise. The correct answer is C. Stamp. Stamp duty is a tax levied on various legal documents, for property transactions, agreements, and contracts. Question. The rate of value-added tax is determined by A. SARB, South African Reserve Bank B. SARS, South African Revenue Services C. The Minister of Finance D. Members of Parliament the correct answer is C, the Minister of Finance. The VAT rate in South Africa is determined by the Minister of Finance through fiscal policy decisions. SARS is responsible for tax administration and collection, but the actual rate setting is under the authority of the Minister of Finance. Question. Taxation is A. Compulsory B. Optional C. A matter of willingness D. Paid by businesses only. The correct answer is A. Compulsory. Taxation is compulsory, meaning individuals and businesses are legally obligated to pay taxes, as imposed by the government. It is not optional and is enforced by law. Question. Is a principle of taxable income? A. Short basing. B. Adequacy. C. Incompatibility. D. Inconvenience. The correct answer is B. Adequacy. Adequacy is a principle of taxable income, suggesting that the tax system should generate sufficient revenue to fund government activities and services appropriately. Question. The more people earn, the, the rate of taxation. A. Lower. B. Stable. C. Higher. D. Less. The correct answer is C, higher. The more people earn, the higher the rate of taxation. This concept is often associated with progressive taxation, where higher income levels are subject to higher tax rates. Question. Are exempted from paying tax. A. Profit-making institutions. B. Companies. C. Non-profit-making institutions. D. Workers. The correct answer is C, non-profit-making institutions. Non-profit-making institutions are often exempted from paying certain taxes because they are typically organized for charitable, religious, or educational purposes, and their activities are considered to contribute to the public good. Question. A or an schedule gives details of a plan of action in a certain order within a particular time. A. Control. B. Coordinating. C. General. D. Activity. The correct answer is D. Activity. A schedule that gives details of a plan of action in a certain order within a particular time is related to activity. Question. 
is it are the use of fiscal policy by the government to stimulate economic growth. A. Social grants. B. Incentives. C. Import promotion. D. Dumping. The correct answer is B. Incentives. Incentives refer to the use of fiscal policy by the government to stimulate economic growth. This can include tax incentives or other measures designed to encourage specific economic activities. Complete the following sentences by filling in only the missing word. Question. Tax is a tax that the government imposes on financial income generated, earned by all entities. The correct answer is income. Question. Individuals and businesses are compelled by law to submit AON. Tax return every year to determine if they owe any tax or qualify for a refund. The correct answer is income. Question. Duties or taxes are taxes paid when purchases are made on specific goods such as petrol. The correct answer is excise. Question. Tax paid on the importation of goods is called duties. The correct answer is customs. Question. Is a process of creating a plan to spend your money. The correct answer is budgeting. Question. A budget is expressed in quantitative or terms. The correct answer is monetary. Question. For a budget to allow changes in the changing environment, it is referred to as. The correct answer is flexible. Question. A government budget is an annual financial statement presenting the government's proposed revenues and. The correct answer is expenditure. Question. Tax assessed on real estate is referred to as tax. The correct answer is property. Question. The budget is a budget allocating money for the acquisition of fixed assets. The correct answer is capital. Choose the correct words from those given in brackets in the sentences. Below. Question. The aim of taxation is to raise revenue or loans to meet public expenditure. The correct answer is revenue. Question. Spending by government on collective needs or wants like pension and infrastructure is called public spending business spending. The correct answer is public spending. Question. Assessment rates are taxes paid on the estimated value assessed value of your property. The correct answer is assessed value. Question. Turnover tax is a tax that replaces income tax or foreign tax for qualifying microbusinesses. The correct answer is income tax. Question. One of the main purposes of the government budget is to forecast profit and loss for income and expenditure. The correct answer is income and expenditure. Question. An income expenditure at budget shows the revenue and capital disbursement of the estimates in various departments. The correct answer is expenditure. Question. A government operational budget based upon the achievement of specific income levels is called an income expenditure budget. The correct answer is income. Question. The receiving period payback period is one of the capital budgeting decision tools. The correct answer is payback period. Question. Net present value is the difference of sum of the present value of the cash inflows and the present value of the cash outflows. The correct answer is difference. Question. The government budget speech is tabled in Parliament by the Minister of Finance and Minister of Trade and Industry. The correct answer is Minister of Finance. Question. What is the primary purpose of taxation? The primary purpose of taxation is to raise revenue to meet the substantial public expenditure required for the functioning and maintenance of essential government services and programs. Tax revenue helps governments to finance infrastructure development, social welfare initiatives, national defense, education, healthcare, and various other public goods and services. Question. Describe the principles of taxable income. 
The principles of taxable income hold key considerations that guide the design and implementation of a tax system as outlined below. 1. Adequacy. To achieve adequacy in taxation, it is imperative to structure the tax system in a way that generates ample revenue to fulfill the financial requirements of the government. For instance, if a country relies heavily on income taxes, policymakers may periodically assess tax rates to ensure they align with the nation's overall fiscal needs and economic goals. 2. Broad basing. Broad basing entails spreading the tax burden across diverse segments of the population or economic activities to foster equity and prevent specific groups from bearing an excessive share. For instance, a broad-based consumption tax, like a value-added tax VAT, applies to a wide range of goods and services, ensuring that the tax burden is distributed more evenly among consumers. 3. Compatibility. The principle of compatibility emphasizes aligning the tax system with the unique economic and social characteristics of a country. For example, in a country heavily reliant on agriculture, tax policies may be tailored to accommodate the seasonal income fluctuations of farmers, ensuring that the tax system is aligned with the country's predominant economic activities. 4. Convenience. Designing a tax system for convenience involves ensuring that it is easily comprehensible, straightforward to comply with, and administratively efficient. Simplifying tax forms and procedures, as well as providing user-friendly online platforms for filing taxes, can enhance convenience for taxpayers and promote better compliance. 5. Earmarking. Earmarking involves allocating specific tax revenues for designated purposes to enhance transparency and accountability. For instance, a country might impose a dedicated environmental tax on certain products, with the revenue earmarked specifically for environmental conservation efforts, providing a clear link between the tax and its intended purpose. 6. Efficiency. To optimize the efficiency of the tax system, measures should be taken to minimize administrative costs, reduce distortions in economic behavior, and maximize overall economic welfare. For instance, transitioning to electronic tax filing systems can streamline administrative processes, reducing costs, and improving efficiency. 7. Equity. Ensuring equity in taxation involves distributing the tax burden fairly based on individuals' ability to pay. A good example is a progressive income tax system, where higher income individuals are subject to higher tax rates, promoting social justice, and reducing income inequality. 8. Neutrality. The principle of neutrality seeks to avoid distorting economic decisions by designing a tax system that minimally impacts individuals and businesses' choices and behaviors. An example is implementing a broad-based consumption tax that does not favor one industry or product over another, allowing market forces to operate more freely. 9. Predictability. Providing a stable and predictable tax environment is crucial for individuals and businesses to plan and make informed decisions. For instance, announcing tax policy changes well in advance and maintaining a consistent approach to tax regulations contribute to a predictable tax environment, fostering economic stability. 10. Restricted exemption. Exemptions should be limited to specific cases to prevent misuse and ensure that tax concessions are targeted and aligned with policy objectives. For example, a government might grant tax exemptions for investments in renewable energy projects to promote sustainability and environmental conservation. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and be the first to know when we upload new videos.